this demonstration we're going to have a look at creating a remote desktop connection access policy or computer access policy and also a remote access policy so the first thing we're going to do here is just create a new group so we've come into active direct users and computers on our domain controller and we're just going to create a group called rd computers click ok here next thing to do just add some members so click on members click our add button just ensure that we've also got computers here we'll go with myc just check the names here and what i want to add in is myc server 4 which is my remote desktop server click ok at this point here click ok the next thing we're going to do is go to our remote desktop gateway server right on our remote desktop services server into admin tools remote desktop services and what we'll do here is come into the remote desktop gateway manager what we're going to do here is then just create some policies so expand up our server come to our policies and now what we'll do is create a new authorization policy right what we're going to do here is we're just going to create an authorization policy for our remote desktop gateway so under our authorization policies we're just going to create a new authorization policy on this button here we're going to create a rd cap and rd wrap recommended so as we can see here We've got a connection authorization policy and resource authorization policy. So we'll select next at this point here. In the case of giving it a name, we'll just call it RD underscore cap. And then click next. In the next bit here for the selected requirements, we'll just ensure the password is selected. And in the user group membership, what we'll do here is we'll just add a group. The group that we're going to add here is we're going to add the IT group. Once we've the IT group, we'll click OK. Next thing we'll do is select our next button. And our next button on the enable or disable device redirection. We're fairly happy that we'll just enable everything, so select next. And on the set session timeouts, we'll just leave the defaults. And in the case of the summary, we'll then just select our next button. In the case of the create a remote desktop resource access policy, what we'll do here is we'll just enter rd underscore cap. Select our next button. In the case of our users, what we'll do here is we're happy with the IT department, so we'll select next. On the select the network resource here, we'll just click our browse button. And what we want to do here is just add in our rd computers group. Click the OK button and select Next. Then what we're going to do here, just allow through all TCP ports, select Next and select Finish. Now that we've done all that, we'll click Close. So the purpose of this demonstration was to create these two access policies. So now anybody coming in through the gateway server and connect to server 4 will be liable to these policies. And based off the policies, the only people that will be allowed to access the server Server 4, which is our remote desktop server, will be the IT department. And that's the end of the demonstration. Thanks very much.